Hey everybody, Jake here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Pancor P02 or PO2. Um, this is a very unique watch. This particular color is no longer available for purchase. There may be some in another colorway, which we'll talk about in just a moment. One of the big reasons I'm putting out this video, though, is the maker of this Pancor, the company that you know um, designs the watches and everything. They're about to release another watch on Kickstarter, the P03. It's a dive watch, and I really, really like dive watches. So kind of a precursor for that. I just want to kind of show you some of the fit and finish maybe to expect, some of the features that I really like about this watch, and a few other things. And if you've already watched my unboxing video, you may know a little bit about it, but we'll get into it a little bit more in depth. I'm going to what I like on neutral towards what I dislike. And uh, just before we do that, let's go ahead and get on to some size comparison. All right. So on the left here, we have the Mondane Classic Day-Date Automatic. This is a 40 millimeter case. The Pancor is in the middle with a 42 millimeter, and the Makara Sea Turtle over here with a 44. Um, really, it's it's a very, to me at least, a very middle sized watch. Um, 40 is about the smallest I go comfortably. I do have some 38s. Really don't like wearing them though. And 44 is about the big, biggest size I go. Um, this is one of my favorite sizes that I've tried. This is the first 42 millimeter case that I've owned, and I really, really like it. It's not super thick. A bit more towards the mundane side in terms of thickness and all of that. Um, and I'll, I'll kind of, I'll go into specifications here in just a minute. I just wanted to kind of show you what it looked like compared to some other um, watches that I have in my collection. All right, just before we get into what I like about this watch, um, I'm going to do a quick specifications rundown. This isn't super typical for my videos, but it is kind of pertinent in, um, in watches just because you're wearing them all day. So first up, in terms of the movement, we have a Miyota 9132. Um, it is a hacking movement, and you can hand wind it. It's got 40 hour power reserve, which seems to be about accurate from my use of it. It does have a sapphire crystal with AR coating. Um, it's it's really, really interesting seeing the difference between a watch with AR coating and a watch without. You don't notice it very much until you're actually wearing it, and then you're like, oh, that's that's nice. Um, it The crown is not screwed down. It just pushes closed. It has um, 100 meters water resistance, so you could probably get it wet. I wouldn't try to, though. 316L stainless steel case. Um, it initially comes with a wool strap, which I will show you later. It's currently on a suede strap. And it has Superluminova C3. The diameter of the watch, as I mentioned, the size comparison is 42 millimeters. Lug to lug length of 51. A thickness of 11.8, so just under 12 millimeters thick. Very, very nice thickness size. And a lug width of 22 millimeters, so there's a good variety for strap options. A um, lot, a lot of stuff out there for 20 millimeter and 22 millimeter. So I think it's a really, really nice um, lug width they went with there. All right, on to what I like about the watch. First up, the design. I that's initially what attracted me to this watch. Really, really like it. It's super eye catching. Uh, just the colors in use. It's kind of like this uh, pea soup green with uh, kind of a cream yellow, a little bit darker than cream. And then there are some goldish or mustard yellow accents with gray and uh, darker gray thrown there as well. A little bit of white. It sounds like there's a lot going on, but I really, really like the dial on this. The design of the case is really nice. It's fairly simplistic, but it is very, very eye-catching. It's entirely polished. They did a very good job polishing this. It is a little grimy from where I've been wearing it, but it's not too bad. And surprisingly, you can see just how shiny that is. Surprisingly, I've, I've only scratched this very little. I've been wearing this basically since December or maybe January. January? Whenever I got it, whenever I did the unboxing video, I've been wearing it almost every day since then. And I've really only picked up a couple of scratches. Um, one of them, if I can catch it, is right there. You can kind of see that there. And I believe there's another one, but I cannot pinpoint it. That's all right. Anyway, it, it's surprisingly not as scratch prone as I would have thought. Uh, the case back is also very, very nice. I showed you that a little bit earlier, but it is very, very um, attractive looking. They do have a signature uh, rotor in there, and you can see a few of the little jewels in there. But it's just it's just attractive to look at. It is it is um, signed. 
So there's 9132 movement, sapphire crystal, pancor PO2 with a little pancor symbol there. 160 out of 200, which is the this watch is limited edition as I mentioned. So that's why the markings there. And then 10, 10 atmospheres, which is 100 meters. There is another color option for this watch as well. Now this one may or may not be in stock. Check it. It on my computer, it's pulling up something about a back order. I don't know if that's um, entirely accurate or not. I would take a look. But they have it in this color with the let's call it green and yellow color scheme, and they have another one with a black and blue color scheme. It's where all the green is on this watch. It's entirely black, and all the yellow is a bright, vibrant blue. I like it a lot too. And nine times out of ten, that would have been the color option I went with. But for some reason, this one just drew me in and I really really like the color of this packaging for this watch is pretty nice as well um, it's not as fancy as like the mundane came in a, a nicer watch box but as far as reusability Pancor beats it hands down so if you watch my unboxing you already know this but it just comes in this little cardboard box but what the watch comes in is this watch roll or this watch case thing you can only hold one in there. I guess you could hold more, but you might scratch them. Um, it's just kind of a... I'm not sure what it is. A, it's a leathery material. And basically, you can put your watch down there. It's very soft. And it has just enough padding to where I'm not worried about scratching or beating up the watch. It's it's probably my favorite watch packaging that I've ever received. I really like the Makara, but I don't use that packaging nearly as much as I use this. Um, when I'm done with a watch, I'll generally toss it in here. And set it down if I don't feel like going back and putting it in the box. But it's a nice option to have. I'm really glad they included that in there. Back to the watch though. Um, the size and weight, as I mentioned, 42 is just a really, really good size for me. I, I think I, I really like wearing it. The weight is pretty good as well. I'm not sure of the exact weight. I don't have a scale, forgive me. But it is significantly lighter than the Makara. And honestly, not much heavier than the Mondane. Um, which is... It, it appears to be a quite a bit smaller watch, but it's it's similar in terms of thickness and everything. But this watch is about the same weight as it. It's, it's pretty light. The movement in here has been pretty good as well. I will say something. Um, so, again, this has a Miyota 9132. When I got the watch, and for the first several months I wore it, it was running about four seconds slow a day. You know, that's not horrible. I do prefer for it to run fast, though. So what I did, um, I picked up an additional watch strap or ordered a watch strap for this, which I, I don't have in yet or I would show you. And while I was there, I asked the gentleman there if, if he could go in and regulate the watch for me. So two minutes and five dollars later, this watch is now running 0.1 seconds a day fast. Now, a bit of a caveat to that. When he put it, there, they have machines that basically measure the accuracy of a watch without you having to wear it over the course of several days. Um, so you can set the angle and a lot of stuff, and it'll tell you the measured accuracy of that watch. He said this watch was spot on before he did anything to it. When he changed it, he changed it to about five seconds a day fast. Now, to me, this is incredibly accurate now. So I'm not sure where the inconsistency was there it's probably just for me wearing it but for my use it, again it's 0.1 seconds a day fast this is by far the most accurate watch i've i've owned ever apart from like quartz and i know i'll know this may be at more accurate than some of my quartz watches as well um but it's it's extremely accurate it's held that timing very very well for about a month and a half now so that's that's very very nice to see this is the first miyoto movement i've used I've only had experience in the past with a couple of the Seiko NH35s, like on my Makara, and the Mondane, um, I believe it's an ETA movement in there. But I'll, I'll go over that in the review of that one. But this movement's been very, very good. It's also, to be honest, very attractive looking. I really, really like the look of this movement. It's very, very pretty. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop doing that, though. So, <clears throat> the crown on this watch as well is, is very good. Now, one of the biggest complaints you're going to hear me make in the mundane video is the crown is terrible. I hate it. This crown is very, very nice, though. It's, it's very large. It's very, very easy to turn. And 
it's it's very pleasant to use. It's my favorite crown I've ever had on a watch. I really like the Makro one, don't get me wrong. But this is just, it's very, very smooth. There's a little bit of a click there, as you kind of expect. But it's very nice, very smooth to operate. And you can even see the power reserved indicator going up there. Very, very pleasant crown, though. I like it a lot. It's very easy to pop out, too. You can get it from the sides or from the bottom. There's quite a large lip down there at the bottom that you can pop it out with. And it does dig into your wrist just a bit, but I generally don't find that to be an issue wearing this watch day to day. Speaking of the power reserve, the complications on this watch are very, very nice. So it has it's a three-hand watch. It has a date function, but also has two complications on it. The top one is a power reserve indicator, which for this price range is, at least to me, almost unheard of. I haven't found any, any other automatics with the power reserve indicator at this price range. It also has a 24-hour indicator down at the bottom. Now, normally I don't think this is super helpful in most watches. However, when setting the date on this watch, this is amazing. Um, you shouldn't be changing the date between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. I should have found that out years ago, but you shouldn't. So this will help you. You know, if it's like right now, it's almost between 10. It's almost after 10. So if the hand were flipped up there, I would know not to reset it. You know, it's almost midnight. Don't need to mess with the date. May break something. This lets me know it's safe. It also lets me know what day to change it to. Say you haven't been wearing the watch for a few days, it's completely dead. You'll know, you know, you can change the date and it's not going to change on you in 12 hours, it's going to change to 24. It's just something nice to have. It's an interesting little feature, although I will admit the power reserve indicator is much, much more useful to me. And I like it a lot more. On to the neutral. Um, really, only one thing here. And that is the straps. So this strap here, again, is the suede. This normally comes with the black and blue dial. Let me put the watch on here real quick. Now, I haven't broken this watch band in, so forgive me if it looks a little odd. But I'm not super in love with the black with this. But there's a reason I switched it from the gray wool strap. I love this gray wool strap. As far as color scheme goes, this looks fantastic with this watch. But I had to stop using it. And you can tell I've used it quite a bit. It's it's very, very conformed to my wrist. Um, the reason I had to quit using it, though, was because it started to tear up fairly quickly, to be honest. Um, I kind of knew that wool for a strap was an odd material choice, but I really, really liked it. The color did really well with this watch. But you can see it started to kind of break down. So you can see some of the spring bar through there, a lot of the spring bar through there where it's wearing down. And you can also see on this side where it's starting to rip up. Now I may be able to glue this down and not worry about it. And I may do that because I really like this strap, but I don't know how long it's gonna hold. And I felt that I should mention this to you because it is important. Um, one upside to this strap is that it does come with a quick release spring bar which is amazing when switching straps if you never used one I really really hope you have but the the straps all in all are pretty good there's one more complaint I have about the wool strap and again this is purely durability as far as the aesthetics and comfort and uh, comfortability I guess they're very very good but you can see again some of the wool starting to come off and basically patches any of those dark spots that's not how it should look the strap should look something like this apart from the stitching in the middle but you can see it definitely has wore down and it's not on the the body of the strap at all but it is slightly concerning um one more comment on the positive end of the strap the buckle is very very nice it's a little fingerprinted at the moment but it's a very nice little little buckle. I like it quite a bit. All in all, though, the, the straps are, they're good while they last. I don't know how long this one's going to last. I'm going to wear it and find out. I do have a leather strap coming in for this, which I'm very excited to get onto it because I think it'll look very, very nice with it. But for now, this is what I'm wearing with it. And the suede does seem to be holding up a bit better than the wool. But we'll see how it uh, stands in the long term. On to what I dislike about the watch. There's nothing that I don't like about this watch, you know, outright. 
I, I just, I love it. I, it's, it's amazing. It's probably my favorite watch that I've ever owned. Um, in terms of functionality, appearance, it's, it's just really, really good. It has everything that I use every day in a watch. It has, you know, a date indicator. I use that a lot. It has seconds markers. They're a little difficult to see in here, but you can see them. Again, I use that daily. A lot of people don't. I do, and I need my watch to be fairly accurate because of that. It has three hands, which I need. You know, a power reserve is super, super nice to have. That way I can know, oh, yeah, you need to go and wind your watch, or now you can get through the day fine without it. It's just nice to have those little touches, and it's 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 very attractive, too. You know, the, the cutouts for the minute markers, and or hour markers, sorry. It's just, it's really nice. I really like this watch. I picked this watch up because I hit 1,000 subscribers, and I wanted to, to celebrate a little bit. And it's... It's just, it's a very, very nice thing to have. I really like using this watch. I really like wearing this watch. And I just realized there's something that I completely forgot to mention. That is the price of this watch. That's okay. I can save it for the end. Um, so the price of this watch is a lot less than I thought it would be. So including... VAT tax, it's like 318, 318 euros. Excluding VAT tax, it's 263 euros, which puts it down to, at the moment, $294.12 in US dollars. Now, for a watch with a Miyota movement, AR coated sapphire crystal, you know, very unique looking appearance, uh, see through case back. Power reserve indicator, polished case. Yeah, that's that's good. That's really, 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 really good. That is an amazing value. But if you sign up for the Pancorn newsletter, which I'm about to get to in a second, this is not. They didn't like tell me to say this. I'm saying this because I want to. But if you sign up for the Pancorn newsletter, you get like 20 euros off. You get a coupon code. So I think I paid like. 260 for this or something maybe 270 with shipping very very good price on this like amazing amazing value if you'd gotten it on the kickstarter you could have got it even cheaper now i mentioned the newsletter and i mentioned kickstarter earlier so the pancor p03 is going to be coming to kickstarter soon i don't know any more than you do about it i just know what they've posted on the social media pages and what i've gotten in the newsletter and what I've gotten in the newsletter is exciting. So it's just, it's a dive watch. It does look pretty unique. I'll leave a link to um, the P03 page on their website down in the description. It does look unique. It looks pretty exciting. But I wasn't super duper sold on it until I saw the colorways that they have for it. I, I have two favorites right now. One of them is like a black or dark gray with almost like a neon green accents as far as the indices and everything go really excited about that one that one's pretty cool but that's not gonna be the one that i buy and i am for sure going to buy one if you're subscribed to the newsletter about two weeks ago he sent out one that had a few different colorways from the kickstarter and at the very bottom it had a special edition colorway it is a from what i can tell it's a bronze case with a black dial blue indices, and orange second markers. And I'm super, super, super hyped about it. I cannot wait. I'm definitely going to be picking that one up. Um, when the Kickstarter goes live, I'll put the link down in the description to that as well. Again, they're not sponsoring me or anything. I paid full price for this watch, apart from the coupons that they offer, and avoided the VAX, VAT tax because I'm not in Europe. But... It's a very, very good watch. I highly recommend if you can get your hand on one of these on the secondary market, go pick it up. I actually posted this on Reddit like a day or two after I got it. And uh, there were five of them when I got this one, I believe. And the people on Reddit bought off the last four in this color. He went and re-released a few more in this color, and they got bought up pretty quickly too. 
It's a very, very unique watch, and I really look forward to seeing what they have coming out. I know the PO3 is a dive watch. The PO4 is apparently a chronograph, which, no offense to anyone, I'm really not, I don't care about chronographs at all. I don't like the design or the appearance of most of them, but I'm certainly going to keep an eye out because this company has very, very much impressed me in terms of the uh, dollar value that you get for their watch. So if this looks like something you're interested in, like I said, try to pick one up. I, I can't say anything bad about it. Honestly, I really, really like this watch. I really enjoy wearing it. And apart from the straps, I really haven't run into any issues with it. If you have any questions about anything, leave them down in the comments. If you have any recommendations for anything for me to check out, leave it down there as well. Or if you just want to talk to me, just leave it down there. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Don't forget to check out my other stuff. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thanks. Bye.